Wrestling World, M0CSN, aka Mr. Am Radio Deals, that's me, and his place on the interweb, which is that YouTube, and the rest of the globe. Trust you well, World Amateur Radio Day, seems to be, loads of special event stations on the air, plenty of work all over the bands, doing the bit for the hobby, and, uh, and all the good that's in it. Uh, apparently the uh, the governing bodies and everything are, are partnering together saying that we've got a place to uh, to have inside the uh, the world of communications where it can help out you know like the COVID and the wars and disaster zones and one thing and another and you know three million users worldwide and we're a massive help we're uh, we're a big bonus to uh, to have around I've not heard now, you know, for a long time with uh, amateur radio being stuck in it, you know, right in the mix. Years ago, I used to, you know, when the hurricanes were there and one thing and another, you know, they'd, uh, there'd be some guy there, I'd still got his tower up on his beam, had been missed by the tornadoes, and uh, and he was giving up to the date information on what was going on around and about, but not so much these days, you don't see it, do you? I think it's. Um, it's the advent of the mobile phone, isn't it? Now everybody does video calls and phone calls, text messages, WhatsApp. They don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we really. Um, we don't really fill that gap, do we anymore? Not like we used to, if we used to at all. But you yeah, know, suppose always the odd chance, isn't there, that the emergency services are going to pull you over mobile and say, "Excuse me, can I just use your radio while I sort this out?" Rather than give you you know, three points for driving for talking on the radio you never know do you possibilities are endless but there you are. world amateur radio day hey, what makes a good amateur there's a thought isn't it there's a thought, you know what What makes somebody come into this hobby and be a real diamond in it who knows who knows does it be uh, somebody who's never been in the hobby before what about him you know, you just walk up one minute. Who, who are these people, by the way? They wake up one day and think, I'm going to be a radio one. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know now about it, but I'm going to do it. Um, do they exist? I'm not sure they do. Where do the bulk of radio ones come from then? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? It's that old chestnut CB. The ones that are so downtrodden and hated everybody hates a cb i don't they but yet pretty much most of the amateurs these days are from cb backgrounds not so much 30 years ago although there was a fair raft of cb that came into it weren't they um obviously the rest of them were gin and tonic and golfers old spitfire pilots and tally o biggles all that caper but them days are gone aren't they you know we uh we now sort of run with normal people, plasterers like me, bricklayers, truck drivers, bus drivers, supermarket, checkout boys, trolleys, all sorts of, they're just normal people, normal people, and 90% of them come off CB, they've been on CB from like 78, 79, and then right the way through the 80s and that, and still through 90s, 2000s, still using it a lot of them some of them went in early got the ticket some have only just done it after 30 40 years on the rig but they came off cb so who makes a good amateur a cb makes a good amateur why does he make a good amateur because he's got a background in radio he's been there he's done it he's done the works he's done the amfm which is like the sort of cb version of two meters and he's done SSB, triple five and all that lot, which is just the sort of CB as version of HF, isn't it? That's the way it is. And they conduct yourself on HF with a reasonable degree of decorum. Just, well, in, in a lot of ways, better than some of the call signs that are on HF, working the expeditions, as they're dragging themselves round the shack trying to work them, running 16 kilowatts draining substations it's outrageous isn't it you know it's embarrassing and then these have the neck to say that cb is a wankers you couldn't make it up it's not true 
CB as do make good amateurs. Um, and I think without CB as the amateur side of things would be on its toes. It'd be done. It'd be well done. Because here's the thing i seen the other day the rsgb is whacking it up to 60 quid a year or something 62 quid a year for the membership because they do all so much quote unquote for the hobby what do they actually do the rsgb they produce a magazine that nobody reads because it's just full of adverts for dealers which you can see on the internet everywhere they'll do the odd technical bit which to be honest with you is almost like nasa level because these days people don't need that knowledge and you can like that or you can lump it but that's the reality of it nobody these days fixes these radios in the shack the days of fixing your 101 zds and all that they're well behind you they're gone forget it it's history buried done these things break these days they get a new pcb you do not fix them it's just not financially worth it so all this technical twaddle about changing ICs and transistors and semiconductors and la, 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 la. well it is exactly that twaddle it's almost a waste of time because 99.9% .9 of the people on the radio these days they ain't gonna do it so there's your RSGB and your Adcom bit of planning permission assistance I wanted planning permission assistance 25 years ago they're about as much help as a fart in a space suit bollocks all of them absolutely nothing so promote the hobby they got a fun bus which i don't know was it an anagram for a dogging bus or something i don't know a fun bus what the bloody hell's a fun bus well i'll tell you what a fun bus was it was a it was a bus with a bit of radio gear on it and what they used to do to promote the hobby is they used to drive it to rallies and park it up and show everybody what amateur radio was about a uh, rally where everybody was at the rally for amateur bleeding radio that, i was that educating people they already know what it is they're already doing it put a fun bus at the rallies Pfft, clueless why not put it on as the car park on a saturday afternoon and target the middle-aged blokes and women who's like had a few kids kids are growing up they got now to do the wife don't talk to them anymore she watches eastenders ignores the bollocks out of use not interested so you need something to do you don't fancy golf it's a bit too energetic in it i mean what sort of a clown wants to bat a ball 400 yard and then go chase it do you think you're a bleeding alsatian or something you need to sack that on the head mate it ain't good well it's exercise in it of course it is you walk around the golf course chasing a golf ball and i'm gonna get pissed in the clubhouse and eat kebabs and pizzas and everything so anything you walked off you've just ruined anywhere absolutely pointless get a fun bus in asda get it doing there tesco's or something show the hobbit of the people that need to see it the ones that's got like time the ones that's got spare cash because you need spare cash in this game don't you you can't just do this on a quid oh the old ad well you can get in it you can make it as cheap as you like no you can't there's nothing cheap in am radio pl plug if that maybe but for the rest of it nah all the toys are gold bars they're expensive but you still should promote the hobby where it could be targeted to the people that are one are going to be interested in it who's got the time and got the money so the rsgb and the wisdom well they didn't do that did they they took it to the rallies and shown it to the masses that was already there so rsgb now nah, sack it 60 quid sack it again so your influx of amateurs cbers that's the way it is the very 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 tiny minority of people that have heard about it on the interweb or summer and they've decided to give it a go and that's it but they're very very rare aren't they so that's your influx in it you know um you see be us power crazies the target kilowatt boys us apparently as we all sit there with experts and everything big power big beams one thing or another I don't get these big amplifiers, don't you? Use FT8 on the, oh man, FT8. What's all that? No, no, no. I like FT8. I use it, but so many people now are sort of like, it's radio, isn't it? You know, it's it's like DX. No, it's not DX. It's a computer program talking to another computer program. It's not winning any awards, is it? But it is. They're getting certificates for it. I'd sooner talk, mate. I really would. But hey oh, FT8, it's not my thing. I'd, I'd use it. 
a little bit, but I don't have a big thing with it. I just, nah, not, not my ever, to be fair. I'd sooner pick the mic up. But there you go. But yeah, World Amateur Radio mm. Day. Think about it. It's, uh, it's good to talk, and we can be this, and we can be that, and we can be the others. So, crack on with it, eh? I'll have a look after on the bands. I worked one before, a nice chap in Iceland doing a special event call sign. We'll, uh, we'll go and have a few more, see what uh, goes on. I'll leave you that for anyway. Be nice to the boys. Get on the radio, have a chat with them. Say hello. And happy World Amateur Radio Day. It's not really that much, is it? You know, It's not like Easter, is it? Somebody gives you an Easter egg or Christmas, somebody gives you a present. World Amateur Radio Day. Unless your mates like you, they're going to give you a posh Kenwood or something. Well, other than that, I can't see it. But hey, oh, there you go. Right, leave you with it. Go and have a look at it. Get on the radio, work at them nice stations. Get some uh, some little QSL cards instead of that uh, FT8 nonsense. Leave that for later when it's dark and there's nothing to do. In the meantime, you know the drill. If you like it, like it. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. And if you don't like your mates, share it. I mean, like, I keep telling you who watches this nonsense. Who watches it? Apparently a few do. They're all liking it. You're leaving comments and everything. So I think you must be bored. Whatever. You need to get out more. Trust me. Watching me rant all sorts of twaddle and bollocks on here. But hey oh, never mind. Anyway, listen. Comments are good. Leave them in the comments box. You know the crack. We'll leave them. Enter them. Reply. Do whatever. Opinions are varied. But as Clint Eastwood once said, opinions are like arseholes. Everybody's got one. So we'll take it as it is. And uh, we appreciate everyone. We'll leave you with the rest of it. Catch you later. Have a good one for now. Cheers. CSN's out of here. Doing God knows only what. But have fun. <laughs>